Welcome to Fringe Pop 321, the show that believes the world is stranger than we think, but thinking should not be strange. Now we all know what this is. We associate pyramids with Egypt, naturally, but there are also other parts of Africa that have smaller pyramids, and there are step pyramids in Mesoamerica and China. Now back in 2005, though, Sam, or Samir, more properly, Osmanagic, a Bosnian businessman, claimed that a series of hills in central Bosnia-Herzegovina were in fact man-made pyramids. Really? Bosnia? How did everybody miss that? Let's find out. The central site of Osmanagic's assertion is Visočica Hill. It's roughly 18 miles northwest of Sarajevo. Now when you look at it, it's nearly 700 feet high and it's very obviously pyramid shaped. It's really impossible to miss that feature. The area has yielded Neolithic artifacts, but nothing that establishes the presence of an ancient complex society. Well, at least that's the mainstream scientific view. Osmanagic has dubbed this hill the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. And, perhaps importantly, it's not the area's only pyramid-shaped hill. In 2006, Osmanagic and an amateur team of workers began drilling wells into the hill. And that resulted in the discovery of a network of tunnels, allegedly constructed with ancient mortar and sandstone blocks. In 2007, he issued a document called Scientific Evidence about the Existence of Bosnian Pyramids. Now, this document claimed an assortment of scientific studies were in support of the larger claim that we have pyramids here. Osmanagic went on to further claim that the pyramid was 2,500 years old. More recently, Osmanagic pushed the date back to, believe it or not, 34,000 years and said the pyramid was built by aliens. Okay, how predictable is that? Not surprisingly, Osmanagic's claims were almost immediately met with denunciation and charges of quackery and pseudoscience. Professional Bosnian archaeologists were especially upset. They objected to the digging and the drilling, fearing destruction of legitimate archaeological remains. Anthony Harding, president of the Czech Republic-based European Association of Archaeologists, the EAA, called the theory wacky and absurd. Seven prominent European archaeologists actually issued a joint declaration condemning the project and, of course, the claims. The declaration reads in part, we, the undersigned professional archaeologists from all parts of Europe, wish to protest strongly at the continuing support by the Bosnian authorities for the so-called Pyramid Project being conducted on hills at and near Visoko. This scheme is a cruel hoax on an unsuspecting public and has no place in the world of genuine science. They also noted that the sandstone slabs and other artifacts found in the hill were either natural formations or proof of more recent human habitation. But that was basically all they could do. In the months that followed, nearly 400,000 people came to see the so-called Bosnian pyramids. It was an amazing stimulation to the local economy. and. To be honest, people just didn't want that to change. Osmanagic also proved himself skilled at PR when all this was happening. He linked his alleged discovery with local pride and nationalism. And his document, The Scientific Evidence About the Existence of Bosnian Pyramids, was designed to make his claims sound scientific. The effect was that if you disagreed with what he said or his report, it must be because you hate Bosnians. Now, real specialists still pointed out his report contained no actual data, nor had it been peer reviewed. It was filled with lots of technical, sciencey terminology, but there was no testable data in the entire thing. Unfortunately, 
things haven't gotten any better. Unless you're talking about the local economy, then things are just kind of rolling right along. Osmanagic's research still has not been submitted for peer review, and if I'm honest, I doubt that it ever will be. He really doubled down on the alien involvement in a 2009 interview. That kind of makes things worse. He linked the pyramids with the Mayan calendar, Nazi UFOs, and Admiral Byrd's supposed battle in the Antarctic in Operation High Jump right after World War II. You know, was there a conspiracy that wasn't linked to the Bosnian pyramids? Now, while I love the Nazi Antarctic myth and made it part of one of my novels, it has no basis in fact, and the Admiral Byrd confession about seeing UFOs in the Antarctic is based on a mistranslation of an interview he gave to a Chilean newspaper. Those are subjects we'll just have to leave for future Fringe Pop episodes. For now, we just have to say that unfortunately, there isn't a single peer-reviewed scientific argument in favor of the claim that there are ancient man-made pyramids in Bosnia. Sadly, the topic has become a textbook case of pseudo-archaeology and public manipulation. Thanks again for watching Fringe Pop. Please visit our website for information on this topic and many others. And please come back to watch again, because what you know may not be so.